everyone, it's Melissa. Uh, it's Thursday, it's been a week since um, I've made a video, but it's been a very busy week. Uh, first of all, I don't have on any eye makeup, so that's why I may look a little washed out, but uh, I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, I have my seventh grandchild. He was born uh, Tuesday. Uh, my daughter-in-law kept going in and out of labor, in and out of labor. She delivers at home. Um, she's delivered her other three children at home. Um, so it wasn't that it was more difficult. It was just that, oh, you know, am I in labor? Am I not in labor? And should, you know, the midwife would come? Nope, you know, she would be dilating, but it still wouldn't be time. But anyway, uh, so finally the grandbaby came. They don't have a name for him yet, but he sure is a cutie pie. Uh, weighed eight pounds, seven ounces, and that was just her third largest one. So she has big babies, and she's Chinese, so she's very, very petite and has these big babies. So she's a real woman. <laughs> uh, a couple of things before I get into my eyes. Uh, I went to the uh, mall yesterday, and I kind of wanted to mention this. I got me some. I went by Victoria's Secret, and I got some pajamas to wear all next week. So I'm just taking off work all next week. It's Thanksgiving week. I'm having that surgery Monday. And I'm just going to watch TV, and I'm going to knit, and uh, maybe get a little more decorating to get done. And I thought, I'm just going to stay in pajamas the whole week. So I wanted to get some warm, cozy, cute ones. And so I found some at Victoria's Secret. They're the, uh, they're the Fireside Thermals. And so um, I opened one up so you can kind of see what they look like. They're just a little, you know, pullover thermal. Um, and this one, oh, it's the back. This one has sort of a um, animal print design. And then the, um, the pants are, you know, cuffed and the wide band at the top, which I hope I'll be able to be okay with, with the incision. But the reason, excuse me, something dropped. The reason I mentioned it, um, I got that pair and then I got like a striped pair. Uh, the reason I even brought it up is because they said, uh, and I wanted you all to know about this in case anybody needed some winter pajamas. If you buy some of these, uh, at least as of yesterday, you can get you a free cute little cami for each pair that you buy. So I got me a really nice, and it's that stretchy kind of material. So I got me a really cute black cami. And for the other pair, I got a gray cami. And they're nice. It's, you know, nice adjustable straps. It's got some lace trimming around it. It's uh, shaped, you know, nicely. Um, so I think it'll be really cute under, under blouses or blazers or whatever you want to wear it with. But anyway, that comes free. If you do need you some pajamas, be sure and check out that Fireside, uh, I was going to say Fireside Chat, the Fireside Thermal PJ from Victoria's Secret. And then one last thing. Um, that I wanted to mention. Oh, okay, here it is. Uh, I had needed a new sharpener for my, um, I needed a new sharpener for my, you know, my pencils. And so uh, I started looking online. I looked at Amazon and um, they talked about ones that were rated really, really high. And so, um, I'm sorry, I'm doing something right here. I'm getting my stuff together. So the one that got the highest ratings for a little simple little sharpener was the Sue Davis sharpener. Now she really must have had great products because you know how I love her pencils. Um, so anyway, it comes, you know, with just your little sharpener. Um, on the large part, it comes with a little disc that you can take in or out. Um, and so that you get three, you got a small and then a medium and then take it out in large pencils. And then of course you got your little um, stick right there to clean it out when you open it up. For the, for the crayons, you know, that get inside the blades. But I got this on Amazon, and it truly is a wonderful pencil sharpener. You just, it sharpens really quickly without using up a lot of product. So I, I turned it a few times, and it was like, whoa, really, really got it away real well without using up too much of the product of, of the pencil. So I wanted to mention that because I know everything in Sue Devitt's going to be gone soon in case anybody wanted to pick up a really good sharpener. Um, so now on to the main thing. <clears throat> I, I bought some Burberry eyeshadows. I bought two colors. 
um, that are light colors that I wear from my Mary Kay. Now my favorite way really to do my eyes is the Natalie way where I take a pencil and put it up there and smudge it out and then put it underneath. Uh, like a maybe a smoke color with my uh, Moonstone eyeshadow Mary Kay. Okay, so what I did, what I'm showing you is um, this is my Moonstone eyeshadow that I always wear from Mary Kay. And then I got from Burberry, I got a um, gold pearl. So you can see they're very much the same color. What I'm doing in all this is seeing how the Burberry eyeshadows compare with my very favorite eyeshadows, which are Mary Kay. Uh, just in price, consistency, are the Burberry eyeshadows worth the money? So I got that two color, and then I always, when I do my Mary Kay shadows in the crease and then smudged underneath, I use Espresso. So I got the Burberry color of uh, Dark Sable. They're identical. So I thought getting identical colors that I would get a pretty good indication of how they worked and how they looked on me. Now, the cost. The Moonstone, the Mary Kay shadows, eyeshadows, uh, are $7 each. But look at the size you get. Okay, the Burberry shadows at Nordstrom um, are $29. Look at the size you get. So I can take one, two, three. I can take three Mary Kay shadows. and put on one Burberry shadow. So you're getting three times the product for a $29 Burberry shadow as a Mary Kay shadow, which is $7 each, but if you bought the same amount of product, it would be three times that, so it would be $21. Are you with me? So actually, the cost difference in the amount of shadow between a Burberry and a Mary Kay shadow of the same color is actually just eight dollars. So I want to see, I'm going to make up one eye with my Mary Kay and one eye with my Burberry, the same colors, and see if it's eight dollars better or not. So I, I'm start out with um, identical brushes because I don't want brushes to be a factor. On this side I'm going to do the Mary Kay and on this side I'm going to do the Burberry. I'm just going to do two eyeshadows so it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Mary Kay on my left eye, the Moonstone. I'm going to put it all over. In the corner here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Spreads just really like it a whole lot. I'm going to take my other brush and do the Burberry. Burberry is really pretty. The consistency in the Burberry is very not, I don't know, I can't explain it. It's, it's almost buttery or something. It goes on, it's got a slight sheen to it. It goes on with a lot of uh, pigmentation. And I think it's really, really beautiful. Okay, that's my, let me put it in the crease, that's my base color right there. So next I'm going to take the other end. I'm going to go on the left and do Espresso of the Mary Kay. Okay. I'm going to do it in the crease. In a little V. And underneath. Okay. Now, a little bit of the Mary Kay did get into my eye. A little bit of the, the flyaway uh, pigments got, of the shadow got into my eye just a little bit. I could feel it going in. What I do underneath, I usually kind of dampen the brush, but I wanted to see how it would do underneath dry. 
Okay, so I want to see how the Burberry, the Dark Sable compares. You got your little mirror too. So, fit in the crease here. They definitely, definitely feel different. Let's try it underneath. Oops. So I'm going to do something. I better do it over here with the Mary Kay. Okay. So I've got each in, a, in the crease underneath. This did not fly into my eye. And it seemed to go underneath my eye better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, do a little on the waterline. Get everything out here with my NARS via Veneta. Veneta, Veneta. I'll have to look up. A little bit up here. I make the funniest faces when I do that. Okay, now I'm going to put on a little mascara. If I brought my mascara down. Yeah, that baby's cute. He's that little, little chubby little thing, but he's, he's really cute. Okay. Okay. I didn't blend very well because I wanted you to see the shadows. This one's the Mary Kay, uh, the Moonstone, and the Espresso. This is the Burberry, the Pearl, Dark Sable, and, um, sorry, Dark Sable, and Gold Pearl. So, um, I think probably they are worth the money if you if you're using something like a Mary Kay shadow I think they're well I'm not sure I'm not sure that they're actually eight dollars better than a Mary Kay shadow I, I know it's a lot of money $29 you get a lot of product that I can tell is going to last a long time you get it's such a, a nice consistency that uh, you get, uh, you, don't, you don't seem to have to use as much, and, and it lasts all day. I have noticed that. It will last on me all day long. So it doesn't, uh, you're, not get, you're not having to use a lot of flyaway, you're not having to retouch, so that makes it a little more cost efficient, efficient if, if that makes sense. Uh, so I do actually think that they're worth the price, and that's kind of hard for me to say because I, I love, you know, Maybelline eyeshadows, but this, this truly is the best eyeshadow I've put on, and I, that's why I compared it to the Mary Kay because before this, the Mary Kay was the very best eyeshadow I had ever put on. So um, I'm going to buy another one. I'm going to buy another color that compares to uh, like a medium brown with my Mary Kay. And so that can be an alternate for me doing the Natalie technique. But um, I've got to say, I don't know if you can tell a lot of difference on the camera, but you can tell a difference in person. This eye just has a little more depth looking in the mirror right here. And I'm not sure it's going to show up on camera. Even though it is an, H, an HD camera, I'm not sure you can see that. Uh, but this eye just looks a little brighter and it looks eight dollars worth brighter to me so uh, i'm going to give the burberry's uh, eyeshadows a thumbs up and um if you can bring yourself to spend that 29 dollars and get a piece uh, to get you some then um 
I think it's well worth the money because I do think it will last you a long time. Uh, Doug, my husband, <laughs> Doug the husband, is going to, uh, he said that Saturday he wanted to do the, um, the husband thing, the husband does my makeup thing, so he's anxious to do that. He says he wants to do it Saturday. Uh, so I probably I will see you then. But then um, Monday I'll have my surgery, and I'm sure everything will be just fine. If not, um, I'll I'll have Nicole uh, Viva Viva La Style one. <laughs> Can't remember her number. Post on Instagram or or something like that because Doug's gonna text her. Uh, but. Uh, so anyway, I will see you all Saturday. Stay warm. It's a it's an overcast day here, and I appreciate everyone subscribing and everyone watching, and I really appreciate it. And go out and get that Sue Devitt. If you don't get anything else this week, get that Sue Devitt pencil sharpener. I think you'll be glad you did. So talk to you later, everyone. Bye-bye.